just a quick little tutorial to show you how you can uh, resize photos in Bridge. So we're going to say you have a folder full of photos. You want to resize them to a specific size. Maybe you want to scale them down so you can send them to someone for approval. Maybe you want to scale them down to put them up on a website. You could do this in Photoshop also by way of actions, but you can also do it here in Bridge. We're going to go up to the window menu. We're going to come down and we're going to make sure the export panel is visible. When you toggle that on, you can come over here to the left and here's the export panel. It shows you a series of ways you can export out your photos already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a preset up and I'm going to have these export out and resize to my local hard drive. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to come down and I'm going to click over on the plus symbol and I'm going to add myself a preset. I'm going to export these items out to the original file where the larger photos are or the originals and I'm going to make a subfolder to put them into. I'm just going to name this resize 700 and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to get name this preset resize and 700. Before I leave here, I'm going to go up to Image Options and I'm going to specify that I want these to be manually resized down by bridge. I want it to be a 700 pixel size. Uh, I want to do the uh, resampling method of bicubic sharper because that's the best one for reducing. I'm going to keep them as a JPEG quality of 8. I'm not going to include any um, metadata. I'm just going to go ahead and click Save. Now that put that preset over here, so now I can just pick up any pictures, I can drag them on top of the preset, put them in the queue, I can hold down my shift key and say I want to take this series of pictures, press hold and drag these series over to the queue. There's a little triangle on the left hand side shows me what files are in the queue for exporting. And then I'm going to come over here, I can clear all those jobs out. Or I can actually just say go ahead and perform the preset. So it's going to go ahead and it's going to perform that preset. And it gives me a the name of the preset, the time, and I can see what files have been done. I'll clear that list so next time I come in we'll be up to date. Now if I come down to the lower corner, here's my folder I had it make for me, the subfolder. Double click in here. Here's my items and I come over here in my metadata and you can see the max is out for 700 on the height or the width. 